And I'm Lawrence, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Colin McRae Rally games for the Sony PS2. Colin McRae Rally 3 was a good start on the PS2. The game was decent in content, kind of weak in game modes, but extremely good in gameplay. As game modes, you get only two, single events and championship. And you unlock all of the game's 58 tracks by clearing them in the championship mode. And what is annoying in the championship mode is that you can play only with the Ford Focus there. If you want to play with other vehicles, you can do that only in single events, but not in championship. And since you have to clear tracks in the championship mode in order to race on them in the single event, prepare yourself to see the Ford Focus a lot. Also it's disappointing to see that when you compare the game to previous generations, they sacrificed content for graphics. The game looks better than previous games, but it offers far less modes, cars and tracks than its predecessor. At least it's nice to see that you get different parts to upgrade your vehicle and you can feel the difference after upgrading. Also the mechanics put the parts automatically and you can change them if you see other options more fitting. So you have the auto upgrade but you can also manually upgrade. As for the driving, it's amazing. The game feels like a racing simulation. The handling is great, it's realistic, but still leaves a window to be fun. And each damage your car sustains affects the handling of the car. And damage models look great. And the locations and the way nature interacts with the car looks also great. Mud sticks to the car and so does snow, rain looks good. You, your car behaves different when you drive on grass, snow or gravel. The interaction with the environment is great for that time. And the locations are varied too in those 58 tracks. Overall the game is tough, like rally games of this sort usually are. But the game is also rewarding and fun, like rally games of this sort usually are. Colin McRae Rally 04 offers 4 main game modes. Championship, Rally, Stages and Quick Race. Championships are split into categories. 4-wheel drive, 2-wheel drive and Group B. The game features 21 cars and 52 tracks, but there's a catch. The biggest difference between this game and the previous one is that this one isn't an officially licensed game. The game has no VRC license. All of the cars, tracks and names are fictional. But in rest, gameplay wise, the game is awesome. Damage models are still detailed for that time, driving feels great and the cars behave different depending on the terrain you drive on. Cars also sound different, each car has its own sound and handling. The game is great, just like Colin McCree Rally 3. So this game has upsides and a downside. The upside, I mean one of the upsides, is that it has more game modes and that you can play championship mode with multiple cars. You aren't stuck with the Ford Focus like in the previous game. But the downside is that you don't get licensing, which means that all cars, names and tracks are fictional. Colin McCree Rally 2005 was improved in many aspects. In game modes, you get everything the franchise had until now, plus a new mode. Career, where you start from the bottom and get to legendary levels. The game has more content too, now you get over 70 tracks and over 30 cars. And not only that the graphics are better, but the damage models are also revised. Overall, the game is the best out of the three. You get more game modes, more tracks, more cars, the graphics are better and, the, you, and you get the same strong gameplay. You get licensing. And in the championship mode, you aren't stuck with the same car like the first game. This game is objectively the best out of the three. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.